Hello. Hi, Mr. Plum. We are Plum and Plumber. And it's another weekend. Get in. Come on. Let's get at it. Come on. Am I, am I losing weight too quickly? I don't want people thinking I spent the last six months in a Turkish prison. <laughs> Not again. <sighs> well, I don't know. Might be the right. Anyway, moving on to the, 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 the case at hand. So, you may recall, I got myself another power steering pump for the Peugeot. Because it was making this noise. So, plan of the day is... And if you recall, I was trying to get something to get the fluid out of the uh, pump as it was. I got me one of them off of Amazon. Oh no, that was the other one. Yeah. So, I've got my gear on, I've got my Crocs on, and we're ready to rock and roll. Right, let's get to work. But not before a cup of tea. Oh, that's a touch. Come on. Well, that was a faff. But here it comes. Now this is worrying. I hope it's not the bloody water pump instead. Oh. Oh. Time will tell. Hello. Well, we're done. New pumps in, but there is a twist in the tail. Oh, that's a touch. Right, so, very successful evolution. So, my game plan sort of worked. Got the old pump, prepared everything, got everything out, um, loosened everything off, managed to get the old belt off, and got the old pump off. This... Work the tree. Still got a bit of fluid in the top there. Just for you. So, if you're thinking of doing something that requires you a drawing fluid, that's a little tip for you. So, that worked. A little bit of fluid in there. That worked. So, I recommend that. That's a plum recommendation. Get a syringe. So, that was all cushy. Never had a spot on my posh driveway. Not even a drip. So I laid out loads of card under the car, and once I disconnected everything, I'd already researched what was going to happen, and so I had catch cans in different places just in case, and not a drop. So I'm well happy with that. So, the actual event itself. Did I put a new power steering pump in? Yes. Yes, I did. Did I fix the, any power steering issues I had? Yes. In a fashion, it's not notchy now as I turn, and there's no big whir when I when I go for the maximums. When I go, um, what you call it? Anyway, when I hit the maximums, there isn't that big whir it was. Did I get rid of the wine? No. Still wines. Wines like this. <laughs> Mr. Plum misdiagnosed the wine. That's the first time I've got a wine wrong. So, I'm trying to take the positives out of this. That pump, replacement pump, was out of the scrapyard. Didn't cost me much, about 30 nicker, I think it was. And so, what have I learned? What have I learned from today's um, evolution or exercise? What I have learned, that when I do fit a new AC pump, I can now do it in half the time because I know where all the fixings are, I know where all the tubes are because I had them all off today. I've replaced crusty old uh, clips with shiny Jubilee clips so they're easier to get off next time. I know exactly where all the bolts are to undo. It's all now clean under there. I'm trying to take the positive out of a, a whole half day of... <laughs> anyway, so yeah. It was a bit of a, a cock up on my part. It was the AC pump. And when you get closer with the, with the wheel liner off, wheel arch liner off, because I had to take the wheel off, the wheel arch liner off, so I could get the bloody auxiliary belt back on. Don't believe the videos. Don't work. 
Yeah, you have to take the wheel arch liner off, get up there, get up with the tensioner, then wrap it round all the wheels and the crankshaft and then race the thing. And it's when I was listening, I thought, that's coming from the AC pump, not the power steering pump. Because when you're all stood on top of the car, that sound could be bouncing anywhere. But not until you take the liner off, you can get your ear right in there without chopping your ear off. And yes, it was the AC pump. So I need to hunt around for that. But at least I know what it is now. I know what it is, definitely. So isolated to that little thing. And so I just need to get a new pump. And then I can just whip all that stuff off now. Because it should take about an hour. Not the two hours it took to get it all off before. And then I can get a AC pump fitted and get the car regassed. So half and half. I didn't fix the overall issue, which was the whine when you're driving along. But it's all clean in there now. New fixings, new fittings. And yeah, I'll try and take the positives out of that. Anyway, I am Mr. Plum. We are Plum and Plumber. And I do things the way I do because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. And I shall see you on the next job. Now, it was definitely the other one.